Hi there. Um, it is an interesting topic today that we have, and um, it's a rather deep topic, but actually they say that um, simplicity of life is the answer, and so it is true. What is life about? Where are we going and what are we actually doing? And why are we here? And who are we? <laughs> These questions can really be uh, fundamentally painful for many people. You see, just that question alone brings into account the thoughts in your mind about where you should be, who you should be, why you should be. Can you not see that? <laughs> We're chasing the mind. We're actually, I wouldn't say imprisoned in the mind, but we're being led to believe that we have to achieve all that we feel we've come to achieve. Now, being serious, where you are right now is where you're meant to be. How many times do I have to say that? And where you're going is exactly where you'll be taken. How many times do I need to say that? Looking back on my life, all I ever did was chase my tail. Why? Because I knew in my heart that I needed to do something. But my mind was telling me I needed to do it yesterday. It is that energy alone that can cause great pain and great suffering to you and I. It is an illusion that we have to listen to the mind. I say it time and time again. The only time we should be using our mind is when we cross the road to look left and right. Yay! When we get a, a book and we read it, perfect. When we look through accounts, when we do our paperwork, when we are checking solicitors' papers and contracts, yay! But you do not use your mind to figure out tomorrow what you should be doing, where you should be going, and figuring out life and trying to understand your past and your present and your future. Your mind is a tool. If we surrender ourselves to this simple fact that the mind is simply a tool and to tell it to shut up every day and just say these words as a repeat mantra, where I am right now is exactly where I should be and where I will be taken to is exactly where I'm going. It is my favorite mantra. It is my true and one only reason why I remain sane and happy. If you study and try to figure out and try to work out everything, it is like banging your head against that wall there. I don't believe your journey of life in a spiritual sense is meant to be figured out. It is meant to be lived each step you take, to live in the moment and feel that life is beautiful, to see that life is beautiful. I mean, come on, how many people do you see walking along the streets actually just look and just say, wow, isn't life beautiful? How many? <laughs> I've just come back from London. Boom! Not many! <laughs> it is the essence of life to live in the moment. 
it is the answer to all things to trust. Life is trusting and knowing that working from your heart and trusting that all that will be, will be, is, I believe, one of the greatest answers to living a balanced and happy life. Yes, you can read a million books, you can listen to a thousand gurus, but you will come straight back to you. You are your answer. Your heart is your answer. Tell your mind to shut up and live in the moment, thus letting go of all the nonsense that the mind tries to make you turn another direction. Stay on course, follow the heart path and open your eyes. And most of all, open your heart to what's about to come into your life today. For I see in you a most wondrous energy. I see in you the power to bring back that very power of happiness and to make those amazing changes by simply surrendering your life today in the trust and belief that everything is as it should be and just watch your energy shift have a lovely day it's all as it should be <laughs> love you all